Hey, what is up guys? Uh, I am Khan, and this is my first clip flip video. So, in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do uh, accents. A very useful way, I found, of um, doing your own accents. And, for example, American accents and Russian accents and similar, is to um, watch a lot of media containing those accents. For example, if you watch a lot of American sitcoms, and just try and slowly pick up the voice. Um, an accent's easy to pick up, but it can be a lot of work to get it perfected. Um, so the basic tutorial on first the American accent. So here's my standard American accent. It's kind of non-regional, but it still works. Um, something you've got to bear in mind is the American accent is very broad. I mean, if you live in the UK, you have, you know, Yorkshire and Liverpool accent and, you know, even London accent. But with American accent, there's so much more. There's, you know, you've got your west, east, south, north. And then you've also got all the spectrum in between. This is my kind of default, kind of LA accent, um, non-specific, non-regional. A lot of the time with American accent, you will drop your T slightly. So instead of slightly, it's slightly. Okay, a lot, a lot. So um, there's a few words that you can use to get your American accent working. A handy phrase I learned very early on was unique New York, because that's just unique New York. It helps with your enunciation, but it also helps with getting the accent right. Unique New York. Um, there's other words you can use that are very American. You know, Venice Beach, that's Venice Beach. It's very different words to say in British, it would be Venice Beach. Venice Beach. Uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Um, and just keep working at it. Do different, try different voices, try different accents, try and find one that's as close to your natural voice as possible, but using a dialect of a region of America. So, for example, um, if you're wanting to do a Texas accent, this is my strongest. But you got to add a little bit more on the inflection, like that, see? So then you're going to say some words from Texas, like um, cattle herder, cowboy. you got to try and uh, – a lot of the vowels in the Texan accent are elongated. If that makes any sense to you. So you kind of talk like this from uh, Texas. And that's not my best accent, but anyway. Okay, so back to British. Um, the next accent I'm going to teach you is – Russian, which is quite different from the Polish accent, but tends to get confused with Polish. Russian, they talk like this. They're from very harsh syllables. So talk like this. Uh, very stereotypical, but using words like Tolstoy vodka, smart enough ice. They are very simple words, but they will make Russian accent very good. Borscht. Borscht is excellent word to do Russian accent from. Borscht. Start with borscht, and you can say anything in Russian. Now, Polish is slightly different. Polish uh, tends to uh, they have a lot of ah uh, as opposed to oh. Russian talk like oh, borscht. But Polish, Pol Polish talk like this. So you talk Poland, you go to Poland. Okay? All right. Very quick, that was. That was very bad, so I apologize. Um, well, Australia. Australia is one of the easiest ones because there's a lot of recognizable catchphrases that you've got from Australia. For example, um, Good eye. Shrimp on the barbie. Sheila. And as long as you can watch uh, someone saying the words that are catchphrases, like Sheila, good day, good morning, uh, top of the day, whatever, that's Irish, but you get the idea. And also, in British, we would say Australia. But in Australian, Australian, lie, lie, that kind of eye noise that catches in your throat is very handy. A good way to think about the Australian accent when you first try to start is as if it's a record or if you remember records, and you could reverse them. Now think as if you're talking normally, British forward like this, and then reverse it, oh, I might come from Australia. And just try and keep it up like that, watch as much stuff as you can. Um, Crocodile Hunter was a very good example of Australian accent, because obviously he's Australian, but there's so much you can watch, and there's, you know, crocodile, alligator. There's words like that that you can use that are very handy to get your Australian accent going. All right, so the last accent I'm going to talk about today is a South African accent. Now, South African is very similar to uh, Australian, 
but South African is obviously a slightly different dialect. So what I would recommend is a very good show from the UK called Wild at Heart. Now Wild at Heart is very useful for the uh, South African accent because there's a very there's a man on it with a I can't remember his name, but he's from South Africa. And watch him and pick up. You'll notice that in South Africa, a lot of the um, vowels are very quick. South Africa, South Africa. A very good word to learn South African accent is cigarette, because it's said very fast. So it's not cigarette in English, cigarette. In South African, it's cigarette, cigarette, cigarette. Very good word. Also, South African is a bloody good word to learn South African uh, dialect from. South African just flies off the tongue. Very easy. Okay, guys, so back to the American accent. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I hope it was useful. Um, welcome to Clip Clip. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.